I'm Marco Ceccarelli, journalist for the Archdiocese of Perth. Today we're talking to Professor Celia Hammond, Vice-Chancellor at the University of Notre Dame, about her leadership role as Chief Executive Officer and passion for Catholic higher education. Professor Hammond, thank you for being with us today. Great, thank you for interviewing me. Pleasure to um, be here. Professor Hammond, one of your responsibilities is to reserve and foster the essential character of the university as Catholic. To what extent do you believe you have been faithful to this responsibility in your years as Vice-Chancellor? I believe that I've always done my best. That the objects and the Catholic nature of this university are front and centre. It's, it's essential to what makes me love it and passion, mm -hmm. passionate about the university and that's part of my vocation in being here. Um, and so it's always front and centre. So I believe that I've always tried to preserve and foster the objects because that ultimately is why we're here. So I believe that I've always attempted to be faithful and to do my best. We're not, however, always perfect. And there are some things that you do or some actions you take or some things that, have, that you know, decisions you make while you're genuinely believing that you're acting in the best interests or in the be you know in furtherance mm -hmm. of the objects which may in hindsight you look back on and think it could have done it a different way um, but I think that's the same with all things in life um, you know um, I've often said that hindsight has been my most common teacher uh, my most regular visitor and yeah. and teacher of me is you know um, but in those sorts of instances I believe you are still, I'm still being faithful to the objects by actually then sitting back and reflecting and thinking, okay, this might not have turned out as, as I'd hoped or this, this might have had a different result than what um, I had anticipated. So to reflect back on thinking, you know, if that comes up again or if something similar to that comes up again, how would you do it differently? Mm -hmm. Can you tell us to what degree has your faith been a guiding force throughout your career? If I could answer that throughout my life, um, sure. in the sense, faith and growing up in a Catholic family and going to a Catholic school, faith was front and centre. Um, but like any child growing up, there are you know times when you question faith, there are times where you perhaps just disregard faith, not everybody, but you know some of us do. Um, in terms of my career, faith has been consciously front and centre since I started at Notre Dame. Prior to that, there was a period of time where, although I had faith, it certainly wasn't a dominant or conscious, conscious part of, of my life. Um, and, and I look back on that time now and think, how would that have been different if I had been more connected with my faith throughout that time period? Um, now I could sit here and list a whole lot of regrets and think, oh, this, could, and I do have lots of regrets, but could sit here and think, oh, all of this would have been different. But mm -hmm. at the same time, what I choose to do is um, also focus on the absolute amazing um, blessing that was given to me to come to Notre Dame in 1998. I'd started teaching sessionally a couple of years before, but come here in 1998 when I was still in my 20s, just got married, hadn't had kids yet, and the way that it helped me develop my faith. Um, it still does. I mean, faith is a constant, constant, I don't think you ever... Um, reach a final point in developing your faith. It, it's a constant thing. Um, but I look back and think, if I hadn't come to Notre Dame, would I have continu continued perhaps to not be spurred on and not be accept the invitation that we're all given to explore our faith and to deepen it? Um, so certainly, since coming to Notre Dame, in 1998, I think that really reawakened um, my faith and it made it much more central in my life, consciously central. I think that my faith has always been with me um, and has always guided decisions and actions and has always guided when I've then done something and looked back on it and thought, wish I hadn't. 
Um, but that's... Um, and when I've done that, you know, looked back on something, particularly when I was younger and thought, you know, I wish I hadn't done that. I, I think there was a period of time where I wasn't connecting that with my faith. 